what's going on everyone thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos and let me remove this max real quick so I can <laughs> talk better I hope everyone is doing fine during this uh, pandemic and those crazy times we're going through I made a video called why do like charges repel each other we talked about that and we gave the example of two electrons coming together and then they repel but the question is why and how do they repel without even contacting each other we gave the answer that time that it is a photon that comes in the middle between them and it communicates for them to remove to, or move away from each other. Today I'm going to explain to you the Feynman diagram representation of that same interaction which is an electron scattering. First let me show you the Feynman diagram and then we are going to talk about it. This is the Feynman diagram for this interaction. The physicist Richard Feynman won his F physics Nobel Prize for his contribution to quantum electrodynamics and it is how subatomic particles interact with each other and a part of his contribution to physics was those Feynman diagrams. Today I'm going to explain to you what is meant by this diagram that you just saw. Let's come here and see what the question actually says. I've got two electrons here, okay? So imagine if these two electrons move like this and they come near each other before they even touch each other they move away okay that's what happens so they come in and then they move away okay so the question is how does one electron know that the other electron is even there to be able to repel it they don't even hit each other it's not a collision so how does it know is it magic I actually think it is but let's explain it real quick this black area right here is going to represent a photon field okay and like we said when they come together a photon appears in the middle and tells them to move away from each other and then they move away like this okay so this is a photon field so in this area there is a potential that a photon is going to appear and it communicates the force of them repelling and moving away it's not there but when they come close to each other this excites the photon field and it tells them to move away. So what do we have? We have two objects, they come in, something happens in the middle, and then they move away. So notice this movement, you see they come like this, something happens, and then they move outward away. Well this is what you're looking at here in this Feynman diagram okay so we have an electron and an electron they come closer and then something happens in the middle the squiggly line represents this event that happens in the middle and this is the sign for the photon it means that the photon is responsible for this interaction and then they move away from each other and this is what this Feynman diagram here says also in a Feynman diagram, time goes like this. So this is time, okay? It's difficult to write, but yeah, this is time. So basically, if I put like a line here, this is before, and here is after the interaction. So you can see they come in, the photon tells them to move away, and then they move, which move away from each other. Real quick, one more time, they come in, a photon tells them to move away, and then they move away and then this photon disappears back into the photon field and this is how two electrons repel each other represented by a Feynman diagram which is explained thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time my other channel linked in the description below and also the series of a brief history of time is coming soon I am going to summarize the whole book I don't know how far I can get I've read the book but I'll try to make it into a video form as far as I know this has not been done before on YouTube so I'm gonna do that so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I will see you next time